Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Now today I'd like to show you a feature exclusive to the TriCaster TC1 Pro and TriCaster 2 Elite, which is Alpha Channel Outputs. This allows you to send out or record mixed sources with the alpha channels so you can then bring the video sources into any other NDI enabled device to use as an overlay or record them which can then be used within the TriCasters DDRs or editing software such as Adobe Premiere. Pretty cool feature, so let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so we're gonna start off in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And before I show you where to configure the TriCaster to send out a video source with Alpha Channel, let's start to create something that has an Alpha Channel involved. Okay, so um, right now I have my, clip, my DDR1 clip on my program output here. So let's go ahead and key that green screen out so that we have some Alpha Channel going on. So I'll go down here, click keying, and when I've done that, You'll see that I just have the black background right now because I don't have that particular shot layered on top of anything. This is just the raw footage coming out of my DDR1 uh, onto program. But now let's go to the output configuration side so I can show you where you can go to configure your outputs to send out a source with alpha channel on them. All right. So we'll click on this gear icon here on next to the program. And my mix number one, I currently have that set up to just be my program video and the format is just the session here, okay? Now I'm gonna go through just for an example and I am going to have Mix 2 record the media player DDR1, which is what is playing out that clip right now. And if I go over to format, check this out. I click that drop down. This is the usual settings you've seen as far as you know, going from 1080 to 720 and 480. But here at the bottom, uh, I got another option here for alpha channel. And if I click that, I can then I, you know, record in whatever format I want, but now I'm including alpha channel in that particular uh, shot. So let's go ahead and close that. And now I'm gonna record it just to show you a quick example of what this looks like. All right, so let's just give it maybe two, three, four, five seconds, something like that. All right, and now I'm gonna go into DDR2 and let's bring in those clips. All right, so these are the clips that I just did here and check it out. So you'll see already a big difference. Mix number one right here, that is the one that I recorded uh, just from the program output. So that has just the black background, but the one that I recorded from DDR with the alpha channel included, that has a checkerboard. Cool, all right. So now what I can do is I can go into any of these other shots here, like let's go ahead and punch up input three on my program. And now I can bring on this DSK2 that has this clip on it and there we go. Cool. And now we have them in a nice little setting there. All right. Now I know there's a whole bunch of different tools that we can do within the uh, TriCaster to do all of this. So this was just kind of showing you that you can record those clips. They do have alpha channel on them already, and you can use them within the TriCaster for whatever you want. Okay. But now let's go ahead and show you how to do this in a practical application. So let me go ahead and reset everything. I'm going to put my DDR1 back and let's hit play. Oh, I have my dashboard gear on, there we go. All right, so now that they're playing here, and now I'm gonna move over to my desktop where I'm currently running NDI Studio Monitor. And this is just uh, viewing a, a playback of a video clip here that I have coming out of one of my systems. And what I wanna do now is I can go through and add that source that from my DDR1 on my TriCaster 2 Elite as an overlay, okay? So I'll right click here and go down to settings. Overlay, you'll see that overlay using alpha is already on. So now let me go to my TC2 controller and again we'll select mix number two because that's what I selected uh, on the output side to have alpha channel attached to it and boop, there they are. Pretty cool. All right, so now that I have that, <laughs> they can have the little broadcast. Like, hey, how's it going? What's the weather like out here? It's beautiful. All right, well, let's take a look somewhere else around the country and oh my God, it's awful out here. Don't come and visit. Okay, so you, you get the idea there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and minimize this, and I'm going to grab that clip from my TriCaster 2 that had that alpha channel on there, and I'm going to put it onto my network attached storage drive so that I can bring that into another um, software, like for example, uh, Adobe Premiere, so that you can combine those shots. 
All right, so now I'm back on my computer with Adobe Premiere open, and I just have this clip of the Earth here going on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab that clip from my TriCaster that I recorded with that Alpha Channel on it. All right, and this is really easy to put everything together. So I'll go into here, go navigate to my drive. Do, do, there it is, mix two. Do, boop. All right, and then check this out. I'm not going to do anything. I'm literally just going to drag and drop and bam it is done it's already composited i didn't have to go on to adobe premiere and, and do anything in here it's literally just drag drop hit play and now they have a cool background behind them there so you can do that uh practically within the tricaster into any ndi enabled device because some ndi enabled devices might not have a, a keyer on them for example so this is a good way for you to send that video signal out with alpha and you don't have to worry about it and same thing in post-production record the clips with alpha just drop drag and drop and you're good to go so as you can see this is a helpful feature exclusively for the tricaster tc1 pro and tricaster 2 elite now, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And if you'd like official New Tech product training, I highly recommend checking out New Tech University, which you can find at newtech.com slash newtech u. Also, sign up for a free New Tech product demonstration at newtech.com slash demo and see exactly what these systems can do for you. Ask questions, etc. It's all interactive and in the comfort of your own home. And as always, if you're posting your work using New Tech Gear on social media, tag us using the hashtags New Tech, Replay, or TriCaster. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.